Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Xiaomi Mini Wireless Bluetooth Sports Earbuds. They sell for under $32 online, so it's fairly inexpensive uh, for a relatively premium and nice sounding pair of wireless headsets that competes with more expensive models. The design though is a bit more conservative. Uh, it's not anything super revolutionary, but it does look relatively sleek and elegant, and they've used what's called kind of a bean inspired shape for the tips. and also also, there's of course that extended wing that catches on the outsides of your ears and prevents these from falling loose. These are sports and splash proof. In addition, it uses Bluetooth version 4.1 to connect to your phone. It works with both iOS and Android, and you can play back music. There's even a microphone that you can use to answer or reject phone calls. Uh, connection range is roughly 10 meters or 33 feet. There's CSR technology that cancels out background sounds when you are answering phone calls, and it also is fairly adjustable adjustable as far as the size and comfort. This is another product that was originally released only in mainland China, which is why you see all the specs on the box at, uh, once again are labeled completely in Chinese. Battery is 80 milliamp hours and it's rated to give you, I would say roughly five to six hours of continuous playback before you need to recharge it again using micro USB. And that process takes less than an hour and a half to complete. So inside the packaging, you can get a few extras. For one, there is a hard shell carrying pouch, which is kind of cleverly in the shape of the ear, uh, earphones. Again, kind of like an elongated bean. Uh, it's really durable, and inside you have access to some spare silicone tips to get a more comfortable fit if you don't like the ones installed. And there's also a standard micro USB cable that you use to charge up the headphones. And this is a pouch for actually putting the headphones inside during travel. Finally, you have just the headphones and the instruction manual, which again is documented in Chinese but it's, it has graphics as well to assist you if you need some trouble uh, during the pairing process. And especially if you have a Xiaomi phone, the pairing is extra simple and uh, it is almost seamless since, again, Xiaomi is pushing for their own ecosystem. But regardless, it will work with any Bluetooth-compatible smartphone, tablet, or computer. So taking a look at the design of these uh, in-ear style headphones first. They are, again, very lightweight since the build here is predominantly plastic. Polycarbonate frame, some uh, accents here and there that makes it look a bit more reflective. Uh, so there are, there are no aluminum accents located on the build this time just to make the cost more effective and also, again, the weight less. So if we kind of rip off the cable at the end here, basically how you wear this is the, the wire goes over the back of your head uh, or the back of your neck and then you just put these uh, on the left and right ears respectively so the wire doesn't get in the way when you're listening to music. Uh, it's really malleable and it seems relatively durable as well from a first impressions perspective. The ear tips are angled at roughly 120 degrees, which is the optimal uh, kind of angle for putting them in for ergonomic shape, and they feel relatively comfortable. It has kind of the similar Apple uh, AirPod inspired uh, kind of shape where it catches on the insides of your ears and prevents them from falling loose too easily. You find an inline remote control on the edge here, which includes a very minimalistic looking clip that easily attaches it onto shirts as well as onto uh, pockets. And then on the edge here, there is a flap that covers up the micro USB port for charging. The top here features oversized controls for power. You hold on this for a few seconds longer to start the pairing mode, and then it's going to flash red and blue. Finally, once it's paired, you can play pause your music in addition to answer or reject a phone call. There are oversized uh, volume keys as well, which are pretty easy to tap on and access by feel. The shape of the remote uh, makes nice sense, and overall it has an interesting position as well, since it's really in the shape of almost a triangle. If you are just kind of wearing these earbuds like this, this almost dangles down, and this is really something new, since most Bluetooth earphones will have the remote integrated a lot closer to the sides. Uh, one downside of that is it tugs the entire weight down a little bit, so if you are consistently jogging or moving around, it becomes heavier, and your ears have to withstand more weight. But since this part is going to be on your neck, uh, you know, mostly the weight here will be distributed by your shoulders, uh, which is actually a pretty clever design. Now one potential downside is you have to reach a little bit lower to access the remote, but in my testing it felt ergonomic and natural enough, so no real complaints there. Again, make sure the flap is fully covered up if you plan to submerge this underwater for swimming, things like that, uh, and uh, that's pretty much it as far as the design and fit and finish is concerned. Overall, I think it looks fairly elegant and sleek, and definitely more expensive than the low price would suggest, which is a reoccurring theme with almost every 
Xiaomi product that I've tested so far. I actually like the shiny look here just because it provides a bit more contrast and it almost seems like kind of a curved dis display at first glance. And again, it makes the headphones look more interesting. So moving into the fit finish and the performance next, um, in terms of Bluetooth, they again use Bluetooth version 4.1. I didn't encounter any problems when I tried connecting it with a sample smartphone and also a tablet. Uh, connection was easy enough and the range was indeed roughly 10 meters or 33 feet. Uh, within that distance, when I walked around in the room, the connection remained good and I didn't have any encounterances of a static or distortion, uh, which is also, also pretty nice. When it comes to the audio quality, these sound very clean. They're very neutral sounding earbuds. Uh, they pack quite a bit of uh, volume, which is quite surprising. So you can really hear, uh, you know, what's going on if you're watching TV and you're in a noisy environment. Um, and they also sound good in mids and highs. When it comes to the bass, it is a little bit lacking. Uh, that's kind of to be expected with most in-ear style headphones. Although, you know, a lot of sports enthusiasts I know tend to prefer something that has, you know, more bass. But that's always a sacrifice you're going to get uh, if you are buying something that has a smaller frame compared to you know a more traditional over the year style headphones uh, so overall they sound good you know it's not quite as punchy in the lower frequencies as everyone would you know like but uh, all in all for most music genres it sounds loud it sounds clean and the audio is, is impressively sharp uh, with no distortion again uh, which is quite rare for a pair of wireless headphones it really sounds quite good I wouldn't consider them audiophile grade but uh, nevertheless they sound excellent especially at such a low price point now, when it comes to the microphone quality, the mic is actually integrated into the remote, which is another clever thing here because instead of putting them into the uh, sides of the ear tips by putting it into the remote since the remote is basically dangling on your chest uh, or you know closer to your mouth uh, it's able to pick up your sound a lot better as a result audio quality using this as a bluetooth headset was one of the best that we've tested so far our voices sounded loud and clean according to our tests uh, and equally we could hear their voices uh, without any issues on our side since the, their voices came across prominently with no signs of static or distortion so overall it makes for a great bluetooth headset set if you need to make the occasional call when you're traveling on the go or doing some type of business uh, related activity. So it, may, it remains a pretty good option. Now when it comes to the ergonomics, again these felt pretty comfortable because they are very lightweight. You can essentially wear these and forget they're even there after four hours of continuous uh, audio listening. So that was a benefit. There was no real heat buildup uh, in terms of the ear cushions since they seem to be nicely, dis uh, nicely ergonomic in their shape as well as in the material choice. So it remains fairly cool and again very comfortable for extended periods of time when it comes to you know blocking out out uh, the sound outside of the music it also works relatively well uh, they are quite noise isolating just by nature of the design although there is still a little bit of sound leakage just because you can see the arms here don't have any additional rubber that uh, will seal out you know hundred percent of the sound and of course using memory foam for something uh, instead of silicon also adds to more of a, of, of a tight seal but as a result you still get a little bit of the outside noise and the outside environment which isn't necessarily a bad thing if you want to be also aware of what's happening around you and if you are sitting down in a relatively quiet room you can still really enjoy the music without any issues so the takeaway here is that they are quite comfortable and uh, all in all had no problems as far as wearing these even for extended periods of time so at the end of the day, I'm quite impressed with the Xiaomi Mini Bluetooth Sports earbuds, uh, just because they sound good, they look very distinctive, and the fact that the inline remote is almost in a separate position and a separate cable is a huge plus. Downsides would potentially include the fact that the wire here isn't a flat ribbon wire, so it's slightly easier to tangle, uh, and there's the, the fact that uh, bass could still be a bit more prominent, but again, that's pretty natural and expected on a low-cost pair of in-ear headphones. So thanks for watching this video here reviews this was our closer look at the Xiaomi mini wireless Bluetooth sports earbuds.